Oh, we have Mr. Mittefarokon. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm fine, my friend, Mittefarokon guy. How's your day? It's okay. So what do you think about the topic? We're talking about logic. Okay, so... Do you believe in logic you said... or you are against logic? Okay, look, look, just, um, so we talk civilizedly, please. I'm so talking about civilized. What I said, did I call your name? Did I say anything? <laughs> no, but you're, you're basically <laughs> speaking quickly. Let's just take it slowly, okay? My friend, okay, I will right. speak uh, okay. slowly. So yeah, what please, do you yeah. think about logic? Okay, can you mention about the fire again, please? Can I mention what? The burning bush. Who was in the burning, burning bush? Oh, you want to go back to the burning bush? I mean, we don't have to go back. You can ask me any any question about Islam, but we don't have to go back. Okay, but we go back. Want, we can go back. Okay, we if will go want, back to the burning back. bush. Okay, what do you want okay. to say to me about the burning bush? Okay, so I just want to clarify. You've asked me who was in the fire, right? Exactly. Who was in the fire? Okay. And, and I said to you already, it's not Allah, okay? Who and, I, is, and I will still stand to it. Who is so in the, the person, fire? Okay. Who was in the fire is the angel. Eesh. That's deep. No, it's the angel. Ah. What do you think about that? Okay. Well, it says, I'm speaking slowly, so you don't say okay. I'm being not civil. No, where, that's, thank, thank you where for that. You got, where you got the word angel in the verse? Well, in the understanding of the scholars, okay, I'm gonna let me talk, please don't interrupt me, okay? I'm not even the, talking. Okay, okay, thank you. It says the surroundings of it and the one in it. Um, sorry. Um, actually, the one that where he says by is actually the angel there, because the scholars have actually come to the conclusion to say it's obviously not Allah. Allah wouldn't be in that fire. It's the angel. If you don't believe me, I can prove it to you from your own book. Ah, you can prove it to me from my own book. Uh -huh. Yes, your Bible. So you did you did you you did consult with the scholars, and the scholars they found this information from my book or from your book. Look, um, obviously within our own understanding of it. It's not from the Christian understanding. But no, I can also show no it to you from your own So can there. you show me where you got the understanding from? Because when you say the scholars, they say that to you, that means they have a proof of it. Okay, what the okay can I explain now? Can Go I explain ahead. It? Okay, the reason why is because we know that Allah <laughs> cannot be in that fire. So the one that's in that standing by and the surroundings, yeah, Obviously, Allah's voice is there. That's one of the surroundings of Allah, the voice. But the other one is the angels are there, even though the angels are not mentioned there. Mm. So the angel is one of them, or I don't know how many of them. Mm. Yeah, but The one he says in that area is definitely the angels. Obviously, Allah's voice is there uh, as well. Mm. Are, we, are we clarified with that? Yeah. So... I ask you, what is the proof? You said to me, obviously, it's not Allah in the fire. <laughs> no, it's not Allah. It's not Allah in the fire. But listen, I've told you before already. Listen, and I was my friend. You said yes, obviously. Uh -huh. But I ask you how you uh -huh. come to the conclusion of obviously. I've just explained to you. I said to you, uh -huh. yeah, because sometimes when Allah, no, well, most of the time when he deals with things, the angels are there. So this is what the understanding is. That's deep. So no, Allah true. did not talk to Moses. No, I, I said to you already, Allah's voice is there, but the ones who were there with the surrounding mentioned the Quran are the angels. Okay. Alongside Allah's voice. Allah's voice in the fire? Look, the angel, the angels are around that area. Allah's voice, whether it's in the fire or there, it doesn't matter because Musa is speaking to him. You know what I mean? You know? I but left Allah, you. Allah is not actually there physically. I left okay? you for 48 hours and you come back to me saying, beside mm -hmm. the fire. 
Who? Sorry. You keep saying. You, you keep saying verse. beside the fire when the verse says in the fire. Well, when it's beside or in. Now, now to my conclusion. No, no, yeah? it's no. It's actually the angel. Hold it's not a lie. On, hold on. It's not a lie, is it? Hold on. I believe it's a lie. You do said you? to me you did to read the scholars. Did the scholar say in the fire or beside the fires? Are you talking about Allah or just... What's wrong with you? Which one is it? Can the you verse, can you clarify the verse, which one is it? The verse, does it say in the fire or beside the fire according to the scholars you did read their opinion? Well, in my in my translation, the one I have, I've already told you, is it says by the fire. But anyway, whether it's by or in, yeah? It's not actually a lie, it's the angels. So you said to me, that. but this is not my question. The okay. scholars, you said to me, the scholars, the scholars said. So in the scholars, what they say to you, did they say that there's somebody in the fire or beside the fire? <clears throat> well, I've watched one of the scholars and he mentioned there's a possibility that the angel was in the fire. This is you know? not the question. No. The scholar, but, did he say the verse say in the fire or beside the fire? What my understanding is. Do you is, want to cough? Says, you can yeah. cough. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking, please. Don't interrupt no, me. Because Muslims always I get them some help when they cough, like <laughs> you're thinking of a lie. So why you don't want to answer? Who the scholar you said to me, I did check okay, with the okay, scholars okay. Can you, um, and I'm asking can you, you, did the scholar yeah. say that there somebody was in the fire or beside the fire? I've just told you that there's a possibility is the angel this there. Is not the question. Not this is not the question. <laughs> Let me repeat again. The scholars, the scholars, yeah. when yeah. you read their pages, did they say the verse says that someone was beside the fire? Or someone is in the fire. <laughs> okay, I've watched. Um, uh, I don't. I can't remember his name. Uh, is it Mickey Eugene Mouse? Scott? It Mick, says, Mickey it Mouse. Says it's angels. Mickey no, Mouse. I can't remember the name, but Mickey can't Mouse. Remember the name. <laughs> no, it's not Mickey Mouse. I, you, but you no, said no, to me, you said problem. to me, I did read problem. the scholars. You did read the scholar. Now you are saying to me, you did watch Mickey Mouse. Okay. Okay. Can I talk now? Okay. You can, but hold on. I, I, let me close this cartoon. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. If you look at um, um, in Acts oh. chapter 7, verse 30, hmm. yeah, hmm. the same burning bus, it says the angel hmm. is in there. It's not God. So is God an angel? Are, are they the same? Hmm. So, are they the same? Uh, you know, you, you cannot run away from my question, my friend. I'm asking you, are they the same? Listen, listen, they, you cannot run away from my questions. I gave you 24 <laughs> hours, correct? 48 hours. You didn't give me, because you, you hung up on me. I hang up on you because you are a kid. You refuse to tell me if it is in the fire or beside the fire. How do you know I'm a kid? Is that because of the way you saw my face? No, because you have a broken tooth already. <laughs> This is what kids do. Listen. I mean, they, they, they bite the rocks, etc. So listen, who is in the fire? Is it somebody in the fire or beside that? Because before we continue, we have to agree. Is it someone mm -hmm. in the fire or beside the fire? Okay, angel, angel in the fire. Okay, so you now, you wasted my time last time, 40 minutes, talking about that is in the fire when you said to me beside the fire. But anyway, look, I've told no, don't, you. Don't, don't, don't skip, yeah. don't skip, don't skip. Are you saying the now, reason, are you saying the, now you admit, you admit that you were reading from false translation? Okay, it could be, it could be a wrong translation no, then. No, I don't want it could be, either it is or not. <laughs> okay, look, 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 look. All right, I've I told don't, you, no, don't, it's the don't angel repeat, now. Don't repeat What's your, the problem my now? friend, my friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm asking you. Yeah. Does it say in the fire or beside the fire? <laughs> I just answered you already, mate. <laughs> no. Is it in the fire or beside the fire? Okay, in the fire. Okay, so apologize for being stupid. No, no, no. Let's, let's uh, look. Are we going to talk about this or are you gonna ask well, we are going to talk about, about it fire. because it gave me a headache and I show it to you in front of your eyes in Arabic and English. And then you still being stubborn following a stupid translation, which is corrupting your God book. 
Look, Chris and Prince, sometimes, man, you're calling me a kid, but the way you behave sometimes is childish. Listen, listen, Come on, listen. Believe- I, I'm not the one, I'm not the one who add sentences to my book. That is not an act of a man. Okay. Um, so we uh, move on to Ma- Mary. The no, we did not Howard, move. No, we did not finish. Okay. So now, you, no, so now, hold on. You said that the one is in the fire as an angel, and you quote for me from the book yes, of Acts. Correct. Check, yeah. Check Acts seventeen. Okay. Hold verse on. 30. Okay. Acts, hold on. Acts, Acts 7, Do you agree? Do you agree with the book of Acts? Um, I don't agree with it, but because so we cannot you quote it, so we cannot quote it. Hang on, it. hang on, okay. hang on. You see, because you I'm not talking. I'm not talking about why. my God now. Listen, I'm not talking about yeah, my God. Yeah, but you agree with it. You no, agree no, no, listen, with listen, it. listen. So I'm, you have to I'm not it. talking about my God. I'm talking about your God. So when the Quran says a voice came from the tree, from the holy ground, I ask why there is a why it's called holy ground. You said to me there's many holy places. Correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. right. And you mentioned to me the cave of Hera where your prophet been squeezed three times, first time, correct? Cave of Hera is one of the holy places. But this right, is yeah. never mentioned, neither in the Hadith or in Quran. You Muslims making things up. Secondly, it doesn't have to be mentioned. Hold on. No, you cannot make things holy if they are not holy. Secondly, you said that uh, 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 the place uh, where, where Moses, he saw God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you Muslim know where it is? It's in modern day Saudi Arabia. What, do you know where it is, the location exactly? It's in modern day Saudi Arabia. Okay, in, now do you know um, the location it, it, according to the Quran where it is? Well, the Quran didn't say. No, okay, so now let us confirm this. Okay, so now a holy place become a holy place because of what? You said to me because. Because of a blessing from Allah. Allah actually bless, chooses the bless, place. A blessing to be from a Allah. Place. Okay. Blessing. Allah chose the place to be uh, holy. Allah chooses it. All right. Is the is the heaven of Allah is a blessed place? The heavens, yes, of course they are. What isn't it? Satan was there. Yes, at the beginning, when uh -huh. Satan was a believer, he was there. Do you not did, believe the did, heavens did, are blessed? Did Satan leave? Do you not believe did, did, are Sa blessed? did Satan leave Islam? Satan, yes, because Allah actually cursed him. Where? Um, in Surah Al-Baqarah. Is Adam a prophet? Yes, he's a prophet, Adam did Allah, Allah. Did Allah curse him? No. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. Can you see my screen? I'm not actually watching you. Are you online, actually? Let, let me have a look. Hmm. I want, just to let you know, I won't stay long because I'm busy later, yeah? I know, you are looking for the blessed places. <laughs> Look. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Things to do, all right. I'm a responsible man, all right. Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Wait, wait like wait, most wait. of the stories of your God is in the cow chapter. Chapter two, wait, wait, verse number. On. Yeah, let me get, let me get my Quran, please. Get your Quran, second. which have fast translation. Wonderful. Come on, because this is your problem. You're mm. rude to be. You okay. shouldn't do but that. But you are the one who gave what? me a fast translation. You, you cannot deny yeah, it but now. You don't have to be rude, okay? We <clears throat> right, hmm. you have to be respectful toward, towards each other, okay? Okay. Come on, okay. Uh -huh. If you want, if you want people to see the good side of Christianity, you can't behave like that. Well, I, 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 I am the one who decides. Like no, no. You see, people love the side of Christianity, the one I present. Don't tell me you follow Muhammad, the one who married six years old girl, and this is the side of Islam. I don't marry Not children, six. so Not don't six. don't go there. Now answer. Anyway, did okay. Allah, where, did Allah curse again? Adam and where where sorry again chapter, chapter two, two verse, verse number 36 okay Let, shall I read it out for you read it go ahead and we say and sorry no this is the wrong one sorry 36 36 okay here it is it says but shaitan made them slip up by the means of it, expelling them from where they were. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we said, go down from here as enemies to each other. Mm -hmm. You will have residence on the earth and enjoyment for a time. Is that a curse? Well, that's what it says on it. You said to me, no. You said to me, Adam was not cursed. You said only Shaitan was cursed. But it doesn't say here he's cursed. No, it says, it says, I will make you enemy to each other. Get down. This is a punishment, right? Get down. Yes. Okay, so I'm punishing them. I'm cursing them that now you will become enemy. 
I will let you in the ground and you fight each other and he kill you you fight him you know he has to make you suffer so this is the curse yeah, yeah. is it a blessing to make no, shit is, is it a, is it a blessing this, no no just wait is it a blessing to unleash satan on me is that a blessing can i explain it then please i'm asking you is it a blessing to yeah well let me explain okay let go me explain. ahead you've asked me a question right just let me finish it all okay don't interrupt me please hmm. okay all right when allah says to send down there to be enemies yeah, hmm. he's talking about not not Adam alayhi salam. He's talking about human beings in general. Oh. If you look at human beings, I'm going to let, let me finish. You see, this is your problem. Uh, Come on, hey. Okay. Um, are you online? Let me just follow you. Are you online? Yeah, follow me. Don't follow okay, Muhammad. Okay, That's good. Okay. No, no, I'm following you online. Not as a, not not as a believer in you. I don't believe in you. Oh, okay. Let alone in the Christian okay. belief. Can Let's you read believe. for me the verses, uh, the verses slowly, so I can stop you when I can, please? Because I want you to say certain words. Can you read it again? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah, I'll read it again. Yeah, I've read it again. But slowly, because I'm not smart like you. Okay. I mean, I've got English. I'm from England, all right? So if you don't you're from my England. accent. Yeah, you're from England. Yeah, and you take an oath for the the King of England, which is a Christian. Yeah, isn't it the Quran say take not Christians and Jews as a friend of protectors? Chapter 5, verse 51. What are you laughing? You are no Muslim. This, this country, England, also allows Islam. Doesn't matter if it's Allah or not. The Quran says take allow. not Christians or Jews as a friend. It doesn't say take Charles or not a Charles. It says take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors. And you, because you are a hypocrite like the rest of the Muslims, I can explain. I can take, explain that. Okay, let us finish one. this one. Let's finish this one. Okay, read, okay. Read, read the verse for me. You think you think I'm one of those Muslims you can play around? You are but not anyway. Muslims. Okay. Muslims are potatoes. <laughs> Muslims are potato. Okay. You, are, you are a tomato. <laughs> All right, let me read it out again. Hmm. But Shaitan made them slip up by the means of it, expelling them from where they were. Hmm. We, God said, go down from here. As enemies to each other. Stop. You will so find. So get down, okay, okay. get down. All. He spoke to who? You said to me, "This is mankind." Why was mankind in heaven? Only Adam well, and Eve. No, no. But when Allah is talking about here, he's talking about here in terms of because Adam alayhi salam cannot be an enemy alone of himself with his wife. Okay. You know what I mean, so it's talking about the descendants of Adam alayhi salam. Okay. So are you saying to me that Allah did not make Shaitan an enemy to the Prophet Adam? No, Allah didn't make it. Hmm. You, know? you have Satan, your, you have your, of, you have your because of kibir, because of arrogance. That's what ah, made Satan. So, so Allah did, the, Allah did not make Shaitan the enemy of the prophets. Okay. So, huh? Sorry, I didn't hear you there. Can you repeat, please? So you are saying that your God Allah did not appoint the Shaitan to be the enemy of the prophet Adam and the other prophets. Well, if you look at Iblis, because mm. he disobeyed Allah, let me uh -huh. just finish here. Uh -huh. He disobeyed Allah, so that's a curse for him. And if you look in the Quran, he asks Allah for yeah. a respite for his life to be delayed, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So Allah granted him, okay? And then he said to Allah, I'm going to uh, lead all of them astray except your true servants, like the prophets. And the noble pious wonderful, people, wonderful. You know I mean? Can you read for okay. me chapter six, verse number one, twelve? Okay, six. One, but I haven't finished the other one, mate. You keep, yeah, no, you we keep are talking about the same one. Don't worry. Around. I'm just getting you busted. Okay, That's all. Six. I'm just getting you busted. <laughs> Inshallah, it won't happen. Okay, chapter six, one twelve. Verse, verse what? One twelve. Which means the one be after one eleven, and the one before it yeah, is one ten. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I know that. I'm just asking you to clarify. Mm. We've got, we've got, uh, um, uh, obviously different accent to me, so we've we've got a patient to each other, all right? No problem. It's, come on, we can't be horrible to each other, mate. Okay. All right. It's not nice to be picking on each other, man. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's the one hundred and twelve? You said, yeah. Yeah, the one after one hundred eleven. Okay, 112. Okay, it says, in this way, we are appointed as enemies to every prophet. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> I'll answer this. But anyway, I'll read it out first. It says, in this way, we have appointed as enemies to every prophet, Satan from both mankind and from the jinn, who okay. inspire each. Stop. Shall I continue? So is it a curse or this is a blessing? Well, when it says here to appoint prophets, um, to 
appoint enemies to every prophet. Because if you look at it, yeah, for um, human beings to be able to be pure and clean, yeah, mm -hmm. they've got um, Iblis constantly on the attack on them, mm -hmm. including the prophets of Allah. Okay. Okay. This is what this is what Iblis said at the beginning from Ireland. That's why he said, yeah, I will, um, I will lead all of them astray except your pure servants. So. This doesn't include the prophets when it comes to Satan tempting them. Prophets are also tempted by Satan. You know, but Alhamdulillah, Allah has given them something, yeah, for them to resist Satan temptation. You know, this mm -hmm. is why we don't believe prophets of God to commit um, sins. They make mistakes, but they don't commit major sins. You know, uh, like like like, okay. like idol worship, like it says in the Bible, Solomon oh. worshipped idols, okay. right? Okay. And it says... Lot, he says, Lot slept with his two daughters. Okay. We don't accept these things. We don't okay. Let us go one by one. Let's go one by one. Okay. So no, now yeah. you said to me in yeah. chapter 15, verse number 42, uh, yeah. it says, uh, uh, Shaitan, no, you know, I'm not, I'm not cutting you off, but um, I'll be gone in about oh. um, okay. 40 minutes. Yeah, just okay. let you know. Okay, yeah, in no minutes. problem. But you said to okay. me that uh, Shaitan is the one yeah. who tempt people, right? So, yeah, it's one of these qualities, okay. yeah. Okay. Is it Allah who tempts shaitan? Tempt him to do what? To commit sin. Mislead him. No. Read for me no. chapter 15, it's verse. Shaitan. Read for me chapter 15, verse number 39. Verse number 39 is the one after 38, which means the one after it is 40. It's, it's between. <laughs> Christmas, come on. Everybody eh? will laugh at you in two seconds. Just read it. <laughs> okay, he said th 39, yeah? Hmm. 15, 39. Yeah, the one, 39, the one after 38, yeah. Yeah, he said, okay, so I read it out for you. Hmm. He said, my Lord, because you have misled me, or so I continue. Uh oh, uh -oh. hold on. So I continue. Uh oh, hold on. You Are said, you, you said, I said to you, did Allah mislead Shaitan? You said, no. No, I, yes, I did say that. No. So I, so I explain yeah, you first. said, no, don't explain now. You said, no. No, no, no. no. It says, Iblis said. Allah didn't say Iblis, that. Iblis said. Yeah, and Allah agreed. Allah agreed. Did he say to him, no, this is wrong? <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> right. this is so, hold on, hold on. So, not only Shaitan, you are the one who said to me. Oh, hold, hold on, I need to speak slow. Sorry, I forgot okay. the deal. Okay, not only Shaitan he misled the prophet, and you said to me that Shaitan now is disbeliever. In fact, Shaitan is an employed of Allah, because Allah he said, "I will make I will appoint for every pri for a prophet. Every pro I appointed, which means they are hired by him. They work for him, and now Shaitan explained to us why he worked for Allah as a Shaitan. Allah is the biggest Shaitan. He is the boss." He misled Shaitan. And now Shaitan, he said to himself, you know what? What the heck? I mean, Shiti is here, Shiti is there. I'm Shaitan, I'm Shaitan. If I go obey Allah or don't obey Allah. So Allah made Shaitan Shaitan by lying to him, misleading him. And now Shaitan, he said, okay, you know what? I will return the favor for you. You misled me. I'm going to mislead them. The verse in the front of you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so... Obviously, you get into a lot of stuff, but anyway, inshallah, I'll answer you. Okay, mm. Shaitan, Allah didn't mislead Shaitan. Shaitan misled himself. Okay? Where do you get okay? this from? Where do you get this from? It, but look, everybody, yeah, have got a free will, including jinns, and Shaitan is from among the jinns. Big fat liar. He's not an angel. Big fat liar. Yes, he is an, a jinn. He's not okay, an angel. Okay, hold on. Is so I prove between the Quran okay, hold that on, he's, hold a, on. he's a jinn. Hold on. I know he's a jinn, you idiot. So what? Okay, there it... you go. Don't deny it. No, him. he's a shaitan still, my friend. He's a shaitan. This is this is the father of all Satan, actually. Okay. And, and there's things you can't explain. Lord, Lord, listen. I mean, this is the Quran is a stupid book. Like Allah, he kicked Satan out of heaven, but he kicked only one. But nobody can no Muslim can explain to us how he have many many kids with stupid religion. Look like this guy, Shaitan, he lay eggs, don't he? But anyway, even if you lay eggs, you need a rooster. But look what happened now. So Allah, so slow, okay. slow. I'm talking slow. So okay, listen, okay. because if you speak fast, you don't understand my accent. Okay. So Shaitan now, and you keep repeating, saying Allah did not mislead him. This is what Shaitan is saying. But Allah, He agree with him. He respond to him. He said, except 
your chosen, he said to him, actually, Shaitan, except your chosen one, slaves among them. And then, and he said, Allah, he said, oh, by the way, who is the one who said Allah or Shaitan? And this is the way which led me straight to me. Can you explain this verse for me? Verse number 41. 41, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, this is a straight path to me. You have no authority <laughs> over. Hang on, hang on. Let me, what, what are you laughing for? <laughs> this is a disaster <laughs> verse. Who is talking? Who is talking? Yeah, let me finish then. Okay, okay. You keep interrupting me. Okay. This is your problem, Christian. You interrupt Muslims you when they just, okay, okay. do that. Okay, okay, okay. Don't waste time. You have only 40 minutes. Come on. Yeah, because I'm busy later. Uh, he said, okay, so I read it out all in context, yeah? Mm. Please, let me oh, read it out. Oh, I need now to read. Okay. Um, don't, you know, you read it, read it. Don't listen to me. Guys, okay. he, he said, read it. He, he read said, it only let me in read context. It then. My friend, read it in your head. I'm going to explain to people. Guys, this verse, now he is going to read it inside his head. And he will come to Can us I with an answer. Out? Okay. Come on. And then look, the viewers are watching, yeah? Uh -huh. It'll be nice for the viewers to understand everything. I'm giving you time to read it. Part. I'm giving you time to read it. Search Google okay, or something. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Let Who's me talking? Read Let me read. Who's talking? He said, he said, my Lord, because you have misled me, I will make things on earth seem good to them. And I will mislead them all, every one of them, except your slaves, among whom are sincere. Alhamdulillah. And... He said, this is a straight path to me. You have no authority over my slaves. Allah is speaking now. You have no authority over my slaves, except for the misled who follow you. Hell is the promised me in place for all of all of them. Okay. It has where, seven where, gates. Where, where Allah? Each gate has its allotted share. Wait, wait. So what's the problem which with this verse, verse? Which verse Allah start talking? The one... Where Allah says you have no authority over my slaves. Okay, how you slaves know? How you know? Like... How you know this is Allah? Are you talking, are you saying verse number forty? No, forty-two. Forty-two. So verse number yeah. forty-one is Shaitan still talking? No, no, no. You said to me forty-two. I said what verse Allah start talking? You said forty-two. Touch your nose, um, touch Allah your nose. is talking the one way he says you have no authority over my slaves. Which verse? Which, give me the verse number. Give me, give me, the, give me the verse. Give me the verse number which Allah now start talking. Uh, 41. 41. So now Allah is saying, this is, is the way which will lead straight to me. No, straight path to me. To you me. Have no authority okay, over your God Allah, slaves. look what you just said. Your God Allah... He need a straight bath for him. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, hold on. Who guided Allah Shaitan? Allah he agreed with Shaitan and he said to him, according to you, I ask I asked you, I repeat it. When Allah start talking, you said to me 41. And the, the verse, by the way, nowhere, nowhere it says Allah, but this is how stupid Islam is. Yeah, the Muslim Allah translation the says, responded. Allah said, okay, who this, is? Is okay, okay. this is the way, this is the way which previous, will lead straight okay, on, to me, right? But it says there, previous, Iblis said, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. it says, um, my Lord, because you misled me, I'll make things on earth seem to them, and I'll mislead all of them, um, except, your, uh, except your slaves among who are sincere. So that's what Allah responded, I said to him. Can you yeah? read again 41, please? He said, "This is look. You keep confusing he me. Said, Stop who? looking this man." Who he said? Who, he said, who, who he said? Straight up who, for me. Who, who, you who? have no authority. He said, "Who? Who? Allah." What? What it says? He said, "Allah." No, no. Just he said. He said. Who? Which means Allah responded to him. Who? How you know this is yes. okay? If Allah is the one is talking, because Allah is talking. To, okay, um, so Allah is talking like, now, and He is saying, "He said." I mean, what's wrong with you? I mean, it's not what what's wrong with he said. So I am talking to you now, and I say instead of saying Christian Prince, I I say it. I say he said. Well, Allah calls himself like these things, like but ah, it doesn't mean. Yeah, I got you. We are the cuckoo, cuckoo. Okay, so Allah said, <laughs> Allah said, but there's no Allah. Okay, hold on. But look what it says in in the translation. The Muslim they add words is not there. It says in Arabic. Where is where is it says this is the way which will lead straight to me? Where it says that? Where is the word me? There is he, you know, there's there's he? No, there's no he. It says Qala. 
which means we can say like he said okay and this is the way straight way no there's nothing to me there's nothing to him okay but this is okay you can you read the verse again 41 can you read it in your translation well you agree Allah is talking here on this one can you agree uh, can you read for no, me I'm 41 asking, please do you agree with it about what? Agree, about, what? about what about like the straight path and then he said you have no authority over any of we my will continue. Slaves. this, is a, this is a price this my friend you will leave Islam by, after you read it go ahead but read for me 41 he said this is a straight path to me what is the word me in the verse well on the translation here that's what he said they are stupid there's here we go you can copy you can copy this to Google translation word by word you will never find the word me and now the funny thing is that the Muslim they say that the Christian corrupted their book but as you see the Muslim they add words not there they are sentences that there same time how Allah he says this is Sirat al mustaqim to me but the shaitan he's agreeing shaitan saying I will mislead them Allah he said this is a straight direction to me by what by misleading them he just said read carefully just read carefully Iblis said I've oh my lord hold on hold on your, sh your shaitan even worship Allah he did not become a kafir did he say oh my lord he did at the beginning yeah no he no no now he's Allah. shaitan no no he's already shaitan now he's shaitan even your Quran call him shaitan so now he is shaitan and he is a Muslim shaitan Look, I've just told you. Stop that saying. Stop saying to me. Was... Look, I cannot look more. I lost my eyes, man. Does it say, "Oh my Lord"? This is the guy he just worship Allah. I mean, Iblis knows that Allah. No, is no. His this Lord. is not He's about just... knowing. This is not about knowing. He knows. Did he call him my God? Yes, because he knows that's his. Exactly. That's his Allah. So Muslim, the so Shaitan is a Muslim, and he is obeying Allah. No, he's not. And now not, Allah and Shaitan, they have a plan for the Muslims. Okay, because can I, you misled me. Okay, how can you tell me how Allah misled Shaitan? Allah didn't misled Shaitan. Shaitan misled. The verse himself. says that, and the Quran, Allah agree. He said to him, "Isn't it you who said to me in verse number forty-one? Sorry, I have to see it slow. Isn't it you who said to me in verse number forty-one? This is the way which will lead to me. So Allah agree with him. Shaitan, he said, you misled me." And I will mislead everybody except the chosen one for you. Allah, he said, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, the chosen ones are like the prophets. No, no, Allah, Allah agreed with everything he said. He did not say anything. He didn't say I did not mislead you. I mean, <coughs> obviously, um, yeah. mm -mm. human beings, let me explain, mate. Uh, I'm not I'm not scared, by the way. I'm not, I'm not one of those people you can play around my with. My friend, you are, okay? you are different. Um, I can tell my friend, you play golf, relaxed. don't you? Okay, and I respect people. I don't. I'm not. I'm not rude. My friend, like you, you are a Muslim. Okay? You don't respect anybody. Don't lie yourself. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it says he said this is a straight path to me. You have no authority over any of my slaves, hmm. except for the misled who follow you. Okay. Okay. So what's the problem with this? I mean, so the, the problem is, Shaitan is a Muslim. Allah He appointed Shaitan to every prophet. We show you the other verse. Allah He appointed the Shaitan. He did no, not. Just, not just no, no. Every listen, listen. Every it's, human being. No, no. He said to the prophet, chapter six, verse one twelve. You remember the one I told you after one eleven, one twelve. It says okay. we have you appointed. Said, we have believe, appointed you... to every prophet enemies, shiatin, okay. many of them. Okay. Do you believe prophets of God are tempted by Shaitan? This is not the question. The who, who is the one appointed them? Allah. Look when it's. <laughs> who is the is one who is the when one shaitan is working for if i appointed someone to help you or to do something against you that means he worked for me so shaitan no, no, so no. shaitan my friend shaitan are employee of allah and they are muslims and as you see shaitan himself he called allah my lord my god so he worship him now Can let I us go no me? hold on and now you just dig dig a big hole for your prophet the same chapter we did read it says and you are the one who like it very much you say it except except those who they are your good servant did you agree with it uh where is it the one yeah except... verse number 41 allah he agree with him even though the verse nowhere says this is allah but we will let it go but, and then who, he who says is he, who verse, is he verse number to? verse number 42 said uh certainly who is allah, allah, allah is speaking allah, allah speaking right 42 
So was, was he please talking to himself? Okay, no. So 42. Exactly. Yeah. 42. And Allah agree with him. 42 it says, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. Certainly you shall have no authority over my slaves. Who is the slaves of Allah? The slaves here is talking about the prophets of Allah and the good ones, the ones that believe in Allah and worship Him in a pure form. Okay. This is so, slaves. Okay, so you have no authority to do what? Which means Satan cannot mislead, cannot control those people, cannot do like anything harm towards those people. Guys, be my witness. Allah, He said, that shaitan he cannot control the good ones he can control only the bad ones the criminals the word there actually it is the the the, the gawin, which mean even the muslim translation says who go astray criminals polytheists evil doers do you agree yes yes but okay. i'm not sure so I'm how shaitan how shaitan how shaitan, how shaitan then control your prophet and he gave him the satanic verses <laughs> There's no such a thing called satanic verses. That's a made-up story. Are you sure? Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, here we go. The, the, the Quran confirm it. It says, "Where never we see <laughs> chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two." Okay, let's have a Sorry, look. I have to say it slowly. <laughs> chapter twenty-two, verse number fifty-two. Okay, twenty-two, fifty-two. Hmm. Honestly, Christian Prince, you're a joke. You are. <laughs> 2252 yes, honestly yeah you know i will give you endless penis my friend don't worry i will i will become a prophet now i will fix oh, the way i talk so and i will fix my logic from now on i will give you an endless if penis and endless vagina if you're a christian and you're a follower of jesus you shouldn't talk like that ah uh, i'm talking like your prophet this is what prophet said thank you very much <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to follow jesus this is what your yes. prophet said you just insulted your prophet i was quoting your prophet you stupid Okay. What? Okay. You just insulted your prophet, and you said to me, "Okay." You just said to me, "You should not talk like this." You should. You said. You just said, "You, if you are a true Christian, you should not speak like this." Which is what is dirty. And now we find out that this is Allah's quoting what your prophet said. Shame on you, potato. <laughs> continue. Continue. Okay. You know. So I really don't don't forget, by the way, to download the video and show it to your family. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> this one also I know about. So this you one said well. you said <laughs> that Allah that you, you said that uh, your prophet never receives satanic verses. Read the uh, Quran, chapter twenty-two, no, it, it verse says, number fifty-two. We did not fly, fly really out. Hmm. We did not send any messenger or any prophet before you without Shaitan insinuating something into his recitation. Insinuating, while he was, I like this word, insinuating yes, something. While since, he was reciting. Are you happy with it, what okay. you said? So what does Satan insinuating into the mouth of the prophet? Right. I, do you know what insinu um, ins insinuating means? No, I do not know. Is that like a cucumber? He put a cucumber in his mouth? What is that? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> this is your problem. I don't know. You see, I don't speak very good English. So insinuating, what insinuating mean? Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> what what Satan he insinuate? Oh, what Satan? Yeah? What Satan he insinuate in the mouth and the head of the prophet? Tell us, please. Okay, can I explain now? Why you keep saying? Can I explain? To, I'm just. I just asked you the question. Okay. You keep saying the same thing. Okay, this verse it says we did not send any messenger or prophet before you, which uh -huh. means. You know, some are the prophets of the past. So it's not just the Prophet Muhammad ah, every, every, every Muslim prophet gets screwed. <laughs> are you finished? Can I can I continue? Can I continue? Sure, sure. You, Please, insinuate to me. Go ahead, insinuate. We are, we are listening to the insinuating. Okay, so every okay. Muslim prophet gets screwed by shaitan. This is what the Quran is saying. Continue, continue. I love it. Okay, when it, say, when it says... In, it, Insinuating, insinuating which it yeah. basically means to basically suggest but this is like in terms of yeah um tempting in your mind ah. in your mind but obviously satan cannot corrupt allah's book allah says he will guide and protect his book allah said it already so allah's promise is never fail okay allah's promise doesn't fail okay so don't go so, around and say it's in there it's okay. not there so wait, hold on so how allah will cancel it allah will delete it allah will uh, uh, erase it if it's not there, how you erase something is not there. I mean, only this, 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 the Muslims erase, are so. Sorry, hold on, erase, hold on, hold on. It's, it's my time to talk. It's my time to talk. Listen. Okay, okay, so, right. brother, I am mm -hmm. going to erase all the writing in my book, which is not there. 
So how I'm going to erase something is not there. I mean, you Muslims are so genius. If it's not there, there is no need to erase it. But we erase only so, what is there. Erase what? Erase listen, listen, what? let me talk, let me talk, you see. Okay. So when I say I'm going to delete it, it says in Arabic, huh? you know what yansahu mean? Allah will abolish, Allah will destroy, Allah will take off. So this is already Quran. Allah will take it from the Quran. So shaitan already throw in it. It says in the front of me, here we go. But Allah abolished that which shaitan throw in. Throw in where? Go ahead. And then later it confirms, it says, Allah revokes whatever shaitan insinuates, which means Allah doesn't allow it, these things to happen. So you see? He didn't so allow it. It already happened. Hold on. Did Shaitan read it? Did Shaitan already? Listen, 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 listen. Did Shaitan already? Did Shaitan already did it, or this is before he it happened? It happened already. What do you mean he will not allow it? <laughs> and not only that. Hold on, hold on. What if I show you the interpretation saying that it took Muhammad a while until Jibril come to his house and tell him, "Khabibi Muhammad, what you did, Muhammad? What you did, Muhammad?" This is not from Allah. Okay, I, this is from Shaitan, man. So Muhammad, not only that, Muhammad, he bowed down. The pagan, they bowed down and they worship the same God, which is Aka Allah, the moon God. All of them, they are pagan. And he said, actually, he said a sentence. He said, Those the daughters of Allah, it is their intercession is a must. Your prophet worship the three daughters of Allah. And you are telling me that Allah will abolish it too late. Can, no, I didn't, and, I, and, can I and speak? Hold on. Can I speak? Yeah, and yeah. And the verse saying, the, the previous verse we saw, it says, Allah speaking to Shaitan, Shaitan said to Allah, uh, I, will, I will mislead them. Allah said to him, Certainly you can do that, except the mushrikeen, you can do that to them. The criminals, you can do that to them. You can read them straight. The polytheist, you can do that. The evil doer, which means Muhammad, does, does which means Muhammad, that? huh? Where does he say that? Allah, Allah where does he? Where is that? Uh, anyway, can I finish? What this do you mean that they say that? Are you? Do you have a short memory? Do you have a short one? memory like Muhammad? He says something one? you forget in the morning. Chapter fifteen. Chapter one? fifteen, verse number forty-one. Forty. Forty-two. Forty-two is the one I after forty-one. Chapter twenty-two. Look, 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 look. You keep moving in. A, no, no. We are connecting. We are connecting. This is why we went there. You are the one who quote for me. The other one. Let me finish. Let, Listen, let me finish. So Shaitan, one. did Shaitan did Shaitan throw the sentence in Muhammad mouth? Yes or no? Can I can I respond to that? Sure. Lovely. And you're gonna interrupt me. <laughs> okay, that's a deal. Okay, I'll read it out again. We did not send any messengers or prophet or any prophet before you without shaitan insinuating something into his recitation while he was reciting while he was reciting okay but didn't but allah revoked whatever shaitan insinuates and then allah confirms his signs so you see this is talking about in terms of when the prophet is reciting shaitan can come in your mind and put things in your mind it's not talking about the book physically in the book like that. No, it's not talking about. It's talking about the sign. Uh, if you're reciting, even even us when we pray, yeah, Satan can come and be in your mind and try and play you around. We accept that. It's not just the prophet. It's even every single Muslim because Satan does that. You know? Do you understand? Do you are you are you happy with that ex ex explanation? Can I talk? Yes. Thank you. This is, you see, listen, look, we listen to each other, yeah? You said to me, can I talk? And now you're not Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Okay, go on, yeah. So yeah, on, you said, on. and everybody heard you, while he was reciting, reciting what? Quran. What What? What mm -hmm. happened? Shaitan, he dropped Muhammad Quran. He said to me, not, not in the book. There's no book at that time. Are you a monkey or what? Are you coming from the zoo? There's no book. I mean, Muhammad is making Quran now and there's a book. So now Shaitan, while he was reciting, thank you very much for saying that, Shaitan, he jumped in the head of Muhammad, he put his shoulder around his neck, and he starts saying, hoo, 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 hoo. the monkey Muhammad is going to talk, and now we are going to worship the three daughters of Allah. And he put in his mouth satanic verses, and you just admit it, while he no, was reciting. Hold on, you told, me you, would talk. you told me it's my time now. So okay, while he was reciting, 
not why he's sleeping or dreaming no he's praying to Allah and we know that Muhammad he claimed that when a Muslim to pray to Allah and he is decent Allah will guard him by two angels <laughs> look the angels of Muhammad they were in vacation <laughs> so while he was reciting the shaitan jump inside Muhammad and start using his tongue and Muhammad start praising the daughters of Allah saying their intercession is a must and now you just admit it and now you are saying to me it's not in the book but there was no book at that time so it was a recitation is it the Quran all of it is a recitation so Muhammad he received satanic verses that mean when Muhammad in the Quran the Quran says except your criminals except the the atheist except the polytheist except the evil doers except the child molesters and this is why muhammad was included okay. he's not in the exception because he is one of them go ahead can i talk now? thank you all right mm. okay reciting yeah i'll just explain to you and i'll do it again don't interrupt me please all right uh, okay if you're reciting yeah uh the quran or you're praying yeah Satan will come in, yeah, and, tem and tempt you by putting things in your head. But it doesn't mean, yeah, Satan is actually um, uh, basically changing the Quran verses permanently. No, it doesn't do that. It's not like that. We accept that when we are reading Quran or praying, Satan does tempt to put things in our mind to uh, to be able to make us um, not able to read Quran properly. But it doesn't mean. Yeah, is permanently taken away because Allah says in the Quran, He will guide and protect the Quran from corruption. So Allah's promise is never fail. So don't go around and say, oh, because Satan was tempting the Prophet on recitation, yeah, the verses were changed. No, they weren't changed. You know, it stays the same, exactly the same. This is this this is what shows you Islam is the honest religion. This verse is there still. Yeah, yeah. The Prophet could have taken it out, but he didn't. Yeah, this is a lesson for us as well. When we're praying or, or reading Quran, Satan can come, yeah, and insinuate, which means to put things in your head, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So I've, I've explained to you already. Yeah, please accept it and then move on to another verse because can I, can I talk? understanding. No, no, no. Let, let me finish one more. Okay. The understanding here, I've just told you, is when you're reciting, Satan put things in your head. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't mean yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It yeah. changes the Quran verses. Thank yeah. you. You okay. can you can talk. Now. Okay, but look what happened. You said to me that Shaitan he will tempt you in your head. What tempt you? This guy he spoke sentence. My idiot. I don't want to call you idiot, but you are being an idiot. He did not tempt him in his head to go sleep around. No, he spoke using his tongue. Muhammad he spoke sentences which is coming from Shaitan. And if I say something given to me from Shaitan, the second I do it, I am then you will be a satanic prophet. So your prophet at that moment confirmed in the Quran, he is a satanic prophet. And now you said to me, actually this Ooh. verse confirms Islam to be true and the Quran is protected. How we know? Because of this verse. Because Allah oh, says let me talk. Let me talk. Because, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because now the Quran confirmed that the Quran mm -hmm. is a shish kebab because how we know that this verse itself is not coming from shaitan after the Muslim they notice that Muhammad is messed up so shaitan he said to them don't worry don't worry we will take it we will cancel it so if shaitan was able to do it once he mm -hmm. can do it twice he can okay. do it can twice I talk now? Oh, let me talk what's wrong with you okay okay, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry the one who can do it once and Muhammad obviously his, his tongue is like lousy you know like shaitan he can use it as much you know monkey so shaitan now he put things in his mouth muhammad he say whatever shaitan he give him allah he come he says don't worry i'm going to reset okay i'm going here we go i took it i get off but how we know now that this verse is self from the shaitan go ahead okay i've already explained to you but you want me to explain again okay oh. alhamdulillah okay just to let you know as well i'll be going in about hang on i'll be going in about 10 15 minutes here just to let you know yeah okay 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 yeah uh i've, I've already explained to you when the Prophet or Muslims or anyone reading, reciting the Quran or praying, Satan does tempt you, does come and actually put things in your mind. But it doesn't mean the Quran is actually changed. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean the Quran is changed. I've, I've told you this already, but you keep asking me about it. You know? The Prophet also, Allah promised him and Muslims, the Quran will be guided and protected from corruption. So Allah also said, Allah's promise is always fulfilled. So this verse here, we we accept yes, yeah, Satan. When we're praying, reading Quran, Satan can come and 
and put things in your head. But it doesn't mean, yeah, it's going to change anything from the Quran. Okay? Are we clear with this? Okay, read the verse for me, the second one, and you will see you. For you. Just wait. The verse after it is getting you busted. The Quran okay, is not on. the class. Hold on. Allah, he claimed he will take it off, but the Quran says no. The one which Allah throw, shaitan, is going to be a trial for you. So how he took it off and how is going to be a trial in the verse after it? Why does it say that? Hold on. So if it is gone, I erase it. It means there is no trial. But satanic verses, it is still in the Quran, and the proof is the verse after it. So Allah, you know, the, he, he make what is it thrown in. Allah will make it. Listen carefully. And here we see the total agreement between Shaitan and the God of Muhammad. They are one God. Shaitan is their God. Allah no. will make what is it thrown in by Shaitan a trial. So it is there. He never took it. He will use it. Where, where does he say that? Where does he say oh that? Oh boy. Verse number 53, which is before okay, shall verse... I, shall I read it out? Shall I read it out for you? Yeah, shall. Go ahead, shall. Okay. And then after, I'll, I'll, I'll explain, yeah? Uh-huh. It says, so that he can make the shaitan insinuate a trial for those with sickness in their hearts, yeah? And for those whose hearts are hard and wrongdoers and uh, enriched in hostility. Do you want me to read again or? <laughs> I don't know what I say. I mean, is it a clear shaitan? He throw Quran is still there because this is, will be a trial for the believers. You keep saying to me, do you want to read more? Read more what? It says confirm there that what shaitan he throw is still there and is going to be a trial for the Muslim, not for us. We are not Muslims. So you Muslim now. Read no, it, it, says right? a it says a trial with sickness in their hearts. And exactly. For those who have so shaitan now will cause you to be sick in your heart because the verses are still there, but you said to me that Allah, he used the detergent and he wiped it off and he cleared it and he put the alcohol well, how many and he destroyed well, how all the viruses. My friend, you have 10 minutes left. Just go. I don't have okay. time for kids. Just go. What a potato. <laughs> don't speak fast. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? How you took it off, and this is verses will mislead many people. How it's not there, but it's going to be a big problem for the Muslims. And you see, all those things here are just addition. The Muslim delay in translation. Look, look how small it is in Arabic. Look, look how small it is. And look how long it is in, in English. They have to add sentences. It's a newspaper. And the funny they say that the Quran is not corrupted. You know, you when you add all those things, you are corrupting the Quran. So we took it from the Quran, but it is still in the Quran. By the way, Shaitan was throwing satanic verses metaphorically. <laughs> You know, guys, when I was talking to you, Shaitan, he put something in my head. Let me say it to you. I don't want people to know about it, but I find myself, I cannot resist the Shaitan controlling. Christian Prince, first of all, Shaitan, he did not control the Prophet of Allah. He controlled his tongue only. Eh? So how he controlled his tongue? Do you think he was using electric, electric gadget? Exactly. So the prophet, he was a very nice person. And he's very naive. And all other people. You don't say all Arab people naive. I'm, I'm an Arab. I'm not naive. Christian Prince, you are naive. I'm not naive. You are naive. I'm not naive. You are naive and I can prove it. Okay, prove it. Let me tell it to you. Is the prophet Muhammad, he said, you can drink camel urine? Okay. And the Arab, they drink camel urine? Yeah. Exactly. They are naive. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
and the other guy he put he make a comment that you know Christianity is not logical. Drinking camel urine, eating the poopoo of the camel of Aisha, fighting over the dirt of the underwear of Muhammad. Muhammad his poopoo, the earth is uh, split and eat it and swallow it. Muhammad received the Fatiha when he was doing poopoo. Allah he sent an angel to squeeze him at the time and no mayonnaise is coming and the Prophet did not know what's happening and he said to the angel I told you I cannot read man what's wrong with you why you keep squeezing me <laughs> why are you doing that huh? and the angel did not even say to him he's an angel so he squeezed again and he squeezed again and Muhammad he have no idea what's going on and then he go to his wife he said to her what's wrong with me <laughs> And the Abdul, he say, let us go back to his comment. We do not know what Jesus said. And then he said, Jesus spoke Aramaic. <laughs> listen, listen. We do not know what Jesus said, but Jesus spoke Aramaic. <laughs> Dual, isn't it? Your Quran says we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his people, so that Jews now are Aramaic people. <laughs> Man, they look like one. And then uh, the book of the Bible were written from how to see the key of other Jesus decades. I, th I thought uh, Zachariah he said, the, Brother Titor, the book of the one written 40 years after Titor. You Muslim don't have a single page for the Quran. In fact, we Christians, we have the original. Why? Because even if we have like the most preserved one is the one written in leather, those ones are copy of the what is exist at that time. So now the Christians, all the 300 years and the beginning of their mission, they were the poor, discriminated, killed. They are not kings. They are poor people. So when we have a king, he become a Christian. Finally, we have a book written on leather. In Islam, the, from the first day, you Muslim have all the wealth because you killed the Jews, you killed the Christian, you killed the Arab, you stole their money, and you, Muhammad became so wealthy, yet you didn't have a Quran. And then now we don't have a single page of the Quran, not a single one. Even the one which was a gift from a Christian priest, which was Muslim make a big noise about it, it's not the same as the Quran, and it is not have the written of the Quran. It was the letter dated to the time of Muhammad, not the ink. Where is the Quran? I advise you to watch the video of Uthman. Uthman, he went to a Christian guy and he wanted to show him the real Quran, the Quran of Uthman, brother. And then in the same book, it says, it is obvious that this Quran have nothing to do with the Quran of Uthman. You have zero. Even the enemies of a Christianity, like Mr. Borat, he said there is no book in the world have manuscript as the Bible. No book in the world never exist the Bible in the same time when a Muhammadan he speak against the Bible he forgot his stupid God claiming that the Bible is coming from him so he is giving a screwdriver to Allah because if the Quran is a preserved and the Bible is not that mean Allah again he is Satan and he is the one behind the corruption can anything happen by against the will of Allah no no. Can somebody change the book of Jesus without the will of Allah? No. And by the way, according to Islam, this is not the book of Jesus. This is the book of Allah. And now you are making a curse against Allah because the book is not the book of Jesus according to Islam. It is the book of Allah given from Allah to Jesus. So when a Muslim, he speak, you know, and then he say, there is only one God. But then we find that Muhammad, God, he pray. Allah is the one who pray on you. And then how the Muslim, they translate, they say he sent the blessing. But all of us, we knew that salah does not mean blessing. There's a huge difference between salah and blessing. Salah is a prayer. There is only one God, the Bible. Yes, there's only one God. But from the first page in the Bible, you will find in the Old Testament that God and his spirit and then God, he came in the same book. He came to Abraham as a man. 
There is only one God. So you Muslims are a bunch of fools. You do not know what the Christianity teach. No wonder that the Quran says when the Christian, they say we are the children of God. What does stupid Allah say? <laughs> How come you are children of Allah? You are just a human. Look what? You are just a human, okay? So the Christians, when they say we are children of God, they are saying that God, he married our mother and we gave birth, you know, we, the, our, our mother gave birth to us after sex with God. This is telling you that the one who wrote the Quran not only is an idiot in religion, he's idiot in understanding what he is debating about. If somebody, let us say I am not a Christian and somebody came to me and say, uh, uh, I, I came to a, a Christian and said to him, Hey Christian, why you say you are children of Allah? Did your God have sex with women and you're women and now he gave baby birth to you? But this is not what the Christians say. So the accusation proving that the God, the one, the one is answering, proving that he is ignorant, he's a stupid, he cannot be God because not a single Christian believe that he is not a human being when he say he's a child of God. Do you think a person have little, little, little brain, he will say such a statement? Is that how you refute the Christians? You are just a human. So if you could not understand a, a little sentence of what the Christian believe, and this is your God, I'm not expecting you as an Abdul who believe in endless penis to, to understand what I believe. Yesterday we asked the guy, who is the father of Jesus? He said that Jesus is from the semen of Adam. <laughs> you know what? I will tell you what happened. I think Adam, who was, he did masturbate, you know? I mean, a couple of thousand years ago. All right? And then Allah, he saved the masturbation of Adam. He put it in a jar. And then, like, okay, a couple of thousand of years uh, after, he put it like in the jar in the in the carburetor, and then he said, okay, now I'm going to make a guy. His name is Isa. So he said, Teranam, Teranam, hello, uh, the mother of Isa. Okay, I'm going to send you a jar. It's not honey. Okay, it's not honey. No, this is not honey. Don't think it's. Honey. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I will blow it in your private part, and then you will have a guy. His name is Isa. So now the Muslims trying to explain how Jesus came to the existence. They come to the conclusion that this is from the semen of Adam. I'm not going to tell my dad this. He will go and shoot Adam. If I say to him like, oh boy, don't ever mess with him. Do you see how stupid this religion is? And the stupid Quran, which make it more funny, confirmed the book between our hands. And then the Abdul says, we do not know what Jesus said. Boy, oh boy. Christian prince in France. In France. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, I speak French very well. Let me explain this verse to you in French. And Lou, both the Lou Jews and Lou the Christians, Lou we are the children, Lou of Li Allah, Lou, and uh, that's it, you know, you know, you know the thing. And Muhammad, he claimed that he speak good Arabic, by the way. And then the second you, and you read the Quran, you will find that this is the most ever messed up book. Like when he was speaking to the shaitan here, you know, when the guy, he said, Qala. Who is who is the one who's talking? Shaitan is talking, and suddenly it says here. He said, "Who? Who? 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 Who?" He said the Muslim. They put between two brackets Allah to fix the stupid Quran. How we know now this is Allah or not? And it doesn't make sense to say this is Allah saying that because it says "Hada siratun ala mustaqim." Even the sentence doesn't make sense. You see, the word Siratun Mustaqim, it says Siratun Mustaqim, not Siratun Ala Mustaqim. Mustaqim mean a penis. Mustaqim mean a penis. 
So when you say, هذا صراط على مستقيم, you just said, this is a bath over the penis. What a stupid religion. And how Allah is the one, this is why the guy, he jumped over it like it's embarrassment. He said, how you know this is Allah? It says, he, uh, it says he said, who? I said, why Allah saying he said if he's the one who's talking? Isn't it obvious that this book is written by the hand of a man and he is reporting a story? And this is going to be the one they call him Allah is talking? <clears throat> anyway, did we have a good time, guys? Had we had a good time? And did I speak slow today? You see, the Muslims, I noticed that the Muslims they like me more when I sleep, speak slowly, you know? Like, okay, so who's the one that's talking now, you know? Because when I speak fast, suddenly is English, my English, he cannot understand it. Suddenly, he can't understand my English. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I want to convert to Islam, man. Those versions waiting for me. And the funny is, each time you do boom, boom with them, after two minutes, they are version again. What a cheater. I mean, I just slept with this woman and you are making her version again. Are you fooling yourself or fooling who? Allah, he put his finger there and being she is version. Allah, the vagina will be machine. You see the virginity. Why Allah, he promised them versions. Do you know those people are sick? Those men, I mean, you are talking about women in heaven, and now you are in heaven. So what version mean in heaven? What does that mean exactly? When there is nobody is going to be virgin there, and this is the land of sex. But because Muhammad, he knew that those Arab men, they like to be the first one. He don't care, by the way, later, if she have 10 men before him, Muhammad himself, all his women, they slept with many before him, except Aisha. Later, she slept after him with many. According to the Hadith, Aisha, she used to decorate slave girls so she can hunt the youth of Quraysh. And we hunt with her, so she make her a slave woman, slave, you know, beautiful slave girl, but makeup, wear exposing clothing and to work in Quraysh. So she walk and the, the youth one will follow her to a house and then Aisha will be waiting there. I invite you all of you to convert to Islam. First of all, you will have endless one. And I will tell you the benefit of endless one. One of the benefit, not necessarily limited, you can contact <clears throat> I mean I don't want to be like not realistic how much we spend money for pipeline hmm? to deliver oil between oceans and sea how much money we spend imagine you will have a penis penis which is endless you drink oil, you piss oil. And what? They will have it in the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> and brother, does it go straight or we can bend it? I'm not sure. Because if it goes only straight, we might have a problem. It might go in the eye of somebody. So if Allah can confirm to us how is going to be? Please let us know. Logic people. People of logic. Allah come down every day. 
people of logic. Allah, he sent an angel to Moses and Musa did beat him. He don't want to die. You know what? First time I saw this story about angel uh, who sent to Moses. I really, I got so proud of him. The first one, the first one who did beat Allah by karate. I mean, when Allah He sent an angel to uh, to take the life of somebody, is it up to you to say, "I want to die"? I don't want to die. What does that mean? Can I say I don't want to die? Can I stop the, the, the decision of Allah? So the angel came to Moses. And this is what I do every time with, with Muslims when they call me. I mean, their eyes pop out like crazy. Abu Huraira, which means the father of the cats, said, the cats. Allah Messenger said about the death of Moses, when the angel of death came to Moses, Respond, he said to him, respond to the call of Allah, i.e. be prepared to death, man. Moses gave him a blow at his eye of the angel of death and knocked it out. Wow. What the heck? He's an angel. And now, Moses, he knocked his eye out. <laughs> you know what this is why when Allah he sent me a letter says AZB are you willing to work as an angel for me I said get lost man you know you send me to someone he's a Jew he play karate he will beat the hell of me and I will not be able to do my job thank you very much no no you will be the angel of death what death man are you talking are you kidding me don't you know what Moses did to the angel of death he broke his wings he took his eye out and then all you he went back to you and what you do to him Nothing. You did not even send the police for him. You just fixed the eyes of the angel. I don't want to be an angel. You know what? I can work as a driver for the angel. Uh, but I'm not the one who will go out and inside the house of Moses. Sorry. You do it. I'm not even going to knock at the door of Moses. You do it. I will drive you all the way to the house of Moses. You know what? I will drop you like 200 meters away. Just for safety. And you, the angel of death, you go inside the house of Moses and then Moses... And you know, imagine the angel coming from the house of Moses. Like, <laughs> and he go back to Allah like, like a susu. You know what the heck? What a susu you are. So you don't fight back? You're an angel, you have 600 wings, bings, wings, and then you, you go back to Allah, look what did, Allah, look what did Musa did to me. And Allah, look, um, hmm. yeah, I forgot, he is a Jew. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot to mention to you that Musa's have a black belt kar karake. Hey, too late, Allah, look what he did to me. <laughs> And the Muslim is speaking about logic. And you know, by the way, uh, what his name did that? He was making fun of the Bible saying that Israel, he, he wrestled with God, he struggled with God. But the stupid Muslims, they have in their book the name Israel. So if you don't ag agree with the story, why his name become Israel? His name is Jacob. Do you see the stupidity? 
Too bad. I did not get him. He died. Potato. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good time. And this is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. And I hope all of you, your, your ears, your eyes, nothing pop out because Musa was here with us. See ya. And God bless you. Victory to Jesus. Only to Jesus. Amen.